GTR on the lift. What in the world? It's getting cool right now. Um, we got a few things we got to help Devin out with. He's got a race he's going to, and um, we got to hook him up. So, you guys, come on underneath the car, see what we're doing. We got to get a sway bar hooked back up. So we got to take this diffuser panel off so we can get to the area there. So Jesse, he's in here helping me take stuff apart, and uh, then we're gonna get after. It. Okay guys, we're out here in the garage. Uh, we're working on Devin's GTR today and super cool. I mean, we're stepping our game up and uh, we've got a GTR on the lift. Um, he came up to me and said he's got a problem. Um, he needs to get the sway bar hooked back up. They upgraded spindles and uh, the spindles that he's got don't have uh, sway bar mounts on them anymore. So we got to customize something. So let's go under here and show you the problems that we got and what we came up with and uh, what we're going to do. Okay, so right now we've just got his stock sway bar uh, set back up again. We just kind of got it all mocked up. And the problem is, if you look up in here, here is the link bar for the sway bar. It has nothing to connect to, okay? And the car did have the stock brackets right here, and that's what mounted on to the stock spindles, and we've got to come up with a new design. So. You can kind of look what's in my hand here. This is kind of our design we've come up with as a basis to go off of. So what we're going to do, you'll mount up here right off of the shock bolt right there. And uh, we will weld some uh, backs to the back side of this to keep this plate from moving around. So once you bolt it down, it's got plates that hold it in place up against the shock and you're in good shape. And then this link bar right here my finger's pointing to, it will then go through this hole here. So we're rocking and rolling. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna make this plate happen. We'll round all the corners, make it real nice and clean for him. And uh, I think it's gonna turn out to be a real nice piece and it's gonna look really cool. So let's get into the video.
going over to a 90 degree and get our bins on there. We we're rocking and rolling. show you guys when we go to build the passenger side all the details of welding everything up this way you guys can just kind of see what's going on and what I've done yeah, it worked out awesome um, thank you guys up in here you can just kind of see where it kind of goes there just right in there once we get these clamps out of the way you guys will just be able to see it better and it just fits around that that shock right there perfect and uh, this thing turned out really nice it's gonna be a very nice piece and I uh, give these GTR guys, uh, another option is super strong. I mean, it's it's really strong, so it's going it's stronger than what their link arms are. So it's going to be a cool little piece for these GTR guys. Okay, guys, we are putting the finishing touches on this GTR right now. We got our bracket done. This thing looks awesome. The weld look killer. Things turned out real nice and clean on it and uh, Jesse's about to put some engine paint on it for us and then uh, we'll show you guys all the everything finally mounted up and done but it's looking super cool and looking real good and we'll keep on rocking here piece there very strong and the reason we put these arms back here on the back is to keep this bracket from turning on so we can only use one bolt so i'll take you guys in here so you guys can kind of see what's up and uh when this thing goes on there you can see that bolt up there it just goes right there boom looks awful good uh, we'll put some lighting in here and let you guys see it a little bit better and uh we'll be right back Jesse, he's over here cleaning up the bracket, getting ready to slap some paint on it and get the paint baked on and uh, we'll be in good shape here. We're about to bolt everything up and rock and roll. Jesse, you after it, bro. All day long. All day long. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we're finishing up on the GTR project today. Uh, take you guys in here, let you guys see the finished product. We got the diffuser back on, it's looking pretty wicked. This thing's got a sick, sick exhaust on it. And uh, we got everything looking good. Got everything hooked back up. I don't know if you guys can see everything. If the bracketers get a light over here. Let's see here. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the bracket now. It's looking really good. Nice and clean. We can use stock location stuff. So we don't have to do no crazy modifying. The crazy part was the amount of time you had to put into the bracket just to figure out how to make it. I mean, it was just crazy amount of time, but we stayed up till about four o'clock in the morning and I uh, got most of the bracket work done and then the next morning we woke up and uh, finished it out. But the customer's coming to get it. Uh, Devin seems like he's very happy and he's going to see it here shortly and I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, we're really excited about it and uh, we're getting ready to wrap up this episode and hope you guys have enjoyed everything you've seen so far.